Good morning, Living Hope family. You're out there. Thank you very much. I want to welcome you here to the house of the Lord and um, recognize our visitors that are here today that uh, are going to be sharing with us. And uh, I have a couple of announcements that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, First of all, uh, tonight, uh, or actually this afternoon, there's a joint service uh, at Waldo starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then with a potluck uh, afterwards. Bring just regular potluck food, uh, if you could, and... uh, I think that'll be, it's a new, um, new structure that they're wanting to, uh, wanting to try, and I think it would be a, a great idea just to get a Sunday evening meal and, and uh, fellowship with the saints. Also, uh, in your bulletin, there is a, uh, all the details for a pie and chili contest that is coming up that I'm hoping and I might just have you know a good idea that this is going to be an annual thing uh, I always think of uh, the movie and I don't know if, if you guys have seen Wild Hogs but but there is a chili uh, scene where it's the hottest chili and this guy just uh, basically um, um, is in a lot of pain with uh, the spicy chili. So I encourage you guys uh, to look at that and uh, to prepare for uh, your, your great recipes of pies and chili. Also, uh, October 20th, which is two, two weeks from today, we're going to have a business meeting that is addressing um, the parking lot that we talked about several weeks ago, the updates on that, um, and also the election of next year's uh, officers that we need to vote on. Um, It'll be at 6 o'clock in the evening. We're not going to do what we did last time and, and have it after church with the involvement of um, the elections could take a little bit of time, and the 20th is potluck. So I don't want to uh, uh, get in the way of that and have potluck about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon instead of uh, 12.30 on that. Also uh, remind you that uh, the Joint Branch Retreat at Odessa Campground is the 25th and through the 27th. Of October at the end of this uh, this month. Also, we are um, not having Sunday school or church that week that Sunday. So, if you want to attend uh, the service at Living Hope, it will be at the Odessa campground. And I'm not sure on a time, but uh, if you get there early enough, I'm sure you'll get to participate in in that. Bill, if you uh, have a couple announcements. Yes, uh, the flyer in your bulletin about workday next Saturday. Uh, We're going to be working on the playground over here. We're going to be raking back the stones, pulling the grass out, raking back the stones, putting down new uh, barrier for keeping the weeds from growing up, and then putting the stones back on. We need your help. So if, there's, if you have children that play on the playground, if you want to help with play, uh, getting the playground ready, please come. Uh, it's from 9 o'clock till noon on Saturday. Hopefully we'll have some of your families come and share in that. Also, two months from now on December 14th, we want to have a fundraiser here for ARM. ARM is African Restoration Ministries. 
and we will have a pancake breakfast that day, Saturday morning. We will have also um, a bazaar for things that you might have made and want to contribute for Christmas, uh, like a Christmas bazaar. We'll also have baked goods that'll be for sale that we want participation that you can bake things and, and bring for that. So that's on December 14th, Saturday morning, a uh, couple months from now. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Thank you very much. Would um, Preston Michael Wesley Scott please come up? If he's here, there he is. Preston was baptized last week and he is our newest member. And uh, Preston, I have some things here. We have the church member's manual and also your three standard books that have your name on the front that's uh, addressed. Also, we have this uh, baptismal and confirmation certificate where you can remember the, the date and this time of the year when you uh, were baptized and, and uh, we're just uh, so happy that you're, you made the decision that you did. So we're here for you to, to support you and uh, if anything that you need, okay? Good job. See today. Don't see uh, another announcement. The prayer walk is going to be October twelfth at nine a.m. Join us to consider this in your in your in your own neighborhood. Our cities out and uh, the cities need prayers and the schools. Birthdays. Um, this week, we have one birthday. Wednesday is Joyce Martin. Is Joyce here today? I don't think she is. Um, anybody else that has birthdays this coming week that we didn't mention? All right. How about wedding anniversaries? Anybody have a wedding anniversary? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Marie? Six years. Six, six years. You and Ted. All right, and <laughs> Muriel, 32 years, great, yes, Bernetta, your fifth, congratulations, Chris, yep, What was the number on that? Eight? Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Yes, go on. Yes, Isaiah Peterson's getting married tomorrow. Starting that journey. Wonderful, wonderful journey. Anybody else? All right, let's sing. You know the deal. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Our scripture for today and our theme uh, is condition our souls, Lord, to have faith, comes from Alma 16, 149 through 151. Now, as I said concerning faith, that it, is, that it was not a perfect knowledge, even so it is with my words. Yea, ye cannot know of their surety at first unto predict perfection, any more than faith is a perfect knowledge. But behold, if ye will awake and arouse your faculties, even to the experiment of, upon my words, 
and exercise a particle of, of thank you, faith, yea, even if I can no more than desire to believe, let this desire work with you, even until ye believe in a manner that ye can place a portion of my words.